36 rare things in Minecraft. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, here we go. Horse armor is great. Whether it's gold, iron, or diamond, we've all found at least one of them in a desert temple chest. However, did you know that it's actually possible to find all three of the horse armors together in the same chest? That's right, there is a 1 in 1,940,598 chance for all three horse armor types to generate in the same chest. So while it's possible, it's extremely unlikely you'll ever encounter this. Wither skeletons are annoying, but if you want to fight the wither and build a beacon, you must kill them for their wither skulls. Now, wither skeleton skulls are pretty rare, only having a 2.5% chance to drop from said wither skeleton. But what if you are lucky enough to get all three wither skeleton skulls back to back from each wither skeleton? Well, you would be one of the luckiest Minecraft players on Earth, as there's only a 1 in 64,000 chance of this is happening. Axolotls are very cute. These aquatic mobs naturally spawn in four different colours, which are pink, brown, gold, and cyan. With that said, there's also an extremely rare blue axolotl that can only be spawned by breeding. That's right, breed two axolotls, and there will be a 1 in 1,200 chance for the baby axolotl to be the rare blue variant. Fishing in Minecraft is weird. One moment, you'll be fishing out regular old cod, while in other moments, you'll be fishing out those beautiful enchanted books. But what is the rarest item you can fish in the game? Well, prepare yourself because there is a 1 in 1000 chance for the player to catch 10 ink sacks when fishing. Now, I don't know about you, but that's better than any enchanted book if you ask me. Have you ever thrown an egg in Minecraft? If so, then you probably know there's a 1 in 8 chance for a baby chicken to spawn. But did you also know that there is a 1 in 256 chance for 4 baby baby chickens to spawn from a single egg. Now that is of course quite rare, but it gets even rarer. So we all know eggs stack up to 16. And as I mentioned before, there is a 1 in 8 chance for every egg thrown to hatch a baby chicken. But what are the chances of all 16 eggs hatching a chicken when thrown back to back? Well, it is near impossible as there is a 1 in 200 trillion chance of all 16 eggs hatching a baby chicken. The Woodland Mansion is a rare structure in Minecraft. On top of this, there is a room that generates within the mansion that's even rarer. Now, the room I'm talking about is the Obsidian Room. That's right, if you're lucky enough to find the Obsidian Room, be sure to dig it out as you'll find a diamond block concealed within the Obsidian. Another room that rarely generates in mansions is the Lava Room. Now, the Lava Room consists of a glass case with lava inside. Clear out the lava within the glass case and you'll find a another diamond block. It's worth noting both the obsidian and lava rooms are the only places you can find naturally generated diamond blocks, making them extremely rare. End portals are found within strongholds and are used to travel to the end. As you know, you need 12 Eyes of Ender to activate the portal, but there's a 10% chance of a portal frame having an Eye of Ender already in place. This means if you're lucky enough, you can find a world seed that has an end portal with all 12 Eyes of Ender in place. However, the chances of finding a completed end portal is a 1 in 1 trillion chance, so it's extremely rare. Zombies, you see them all the time. On the surface at night, in the cave systems, you just can't escape them. However, if you ever run into a zombie wearing a piece of diamond armor, then you've just witnessed something very rare. This is because there is only a 0.04% chance for a zombie to spawn wearing a piece of diamond armor. I'm sure a lot of you have created a Minecraft world, looked around for a bit, and thought, this world ain't it. So, you quit out, create another world, and wait, isn't this world the exact same? You go to type slash seed, and look at that, the seeds are the same. How did this happen? Well, lucky you. You've just stumbled across an event that only has a 1 in 18 quintillion chance of happening. That's right, it's actually possible to get the same Minecraft seed twice. But honestly, with those odds, it might as well just be impossible. Sheep are great. They provide wool to make a bed and mutton to satisfy our hunger. Naturally, you will most likely encounter white sheep, but you can also uncommonly find black sheep, grey sheep, and brown sheep. However, if you get really 
extremely lucky, you can also encounter the infamous pink sheep, but it's extremely rare. But how rare are we talking? Well, it's about a 0.1558% chance for a pink sheep to spawn. If you thought pink sheep were rare, then it gets even rarer. That's right, in Minecraft, there is a 0.0082% chance for a baby pink sheep to naturally spawn. Aren't you a rare thing? We must protect pink sheep at all costs. Creepers are annoying, and unfortunately for us players, they're quite common. However, a mob that's very rare is their older sibling, the Charged Creeper. Now, Charged Creepers are rare as they can only spawn when lightning strikes within four blocks of a regular creeper. Now, if you encounter a Charged Creeper, then first of all, congrats, but secondly, they'll do double the explosion damage and they're very deadly, so be careful. If you manage to get a Charged Creeper to explode and kill a zombie, skeleton, or creeper, you'll be able to obtain their respective mob heads. Thank you, Charged Creeper. I'm now wearing the head of your best friend. I'm just evil, man. If you've explored a jungle biome, then you've definitely encountered a panda. Now, pandas are neutral mobs that spawn in seven different variants, but if you manage to encounter a brown panda, then you are very lucky. This is because brown pandas only have a 2% chance to naturally spawn in your world, so they're very hard to come by. Deep Slate Coal Ore is very hard to find in the overworld. This is because normal coal ore only generates at Y levels 0 and above. This means only a small percentage of coal ore will be the Deep Slate variant, as Deep Slate doesn't start generating until Y levels 7 and below. In other words, Deep Slate Coal is very rare. But if you thought Deep Slate Coal was rare, Deep Slate Emerald Ore is even rarer. In fact, Deep Slate Emerald has taken the record of being the rarest ore to find in vanilla Minecraft. When you open Minecraft, you're obviously very familiar with the iconic Minecraft logo on the title screen. Now, a lot of you have probably opened Minecraft thousands and thousands of times that you've probably never noticed that the Minecraft logo can change. That's right, when you open the game, there is a 1 in 10,000 chance for the Minecraft logo to say Mince Raft instead of Minecraft. If you've ever had the Mince Raft logo, then let me know in the comments. The leaves from the trees in Minecraft have a 5% chance to drop their sapling, as well as having a 0.5% chance to drop an apple. But did you also know that it's possible to have the leaves drop a sapling and an apple at the same time? That's right, there is a 0.00025% chance for leaves to drop an apple and sapling together. Now that is rare. The rarest mob in all of Minecraft Bedrock Edition is a mob that has an insane 1 in 3.472 trillion chance of spawning. That was a lot to say. I need a drink. Anyways, the mob I'm talking about is a baby husk wearing full diamond armor while holding a sword whilst riding a baby panda. If you ever find this mob naturally, then you will likely be one of the only humans to have found it. It's almost impossible. The mushroom biome is a very rare biome in Minecraft that's home to mushroom cows and huge mushrooms. Now, the mushroom biome will almost always generate in island form, meaning it will be surrounded by the ocean 99% of the time. However, there have been extremely rare cases of the mushroom biome becoming landlocked. This means there is a very low chance of the mushroom biome connecting to other biomes, such as this tiger biome. While we're on the topic of mushroom biomes, let's talk about the mob that spawns there, the mushroom. So while exploring the island, you're sure to come across these red cows that are known as mushrooms. However, with that said, it is highly unlikely you will ever come across their cousins, the brown mushrooms. This is because the player can only encounter a brown mushroom mushroom if a red mushroom is struck by lightning, which is a very rare event, but still possible. Another way in which the player can encounter the brown mushroom is by animal breeding. That's right, if you breed two red mushroom cows, then there is a 1 in 1024 chance of the baby mushroom being the brown variant. Once again, an extremely rare event, but with enough persistence, it's possible. What if I told you this block was extremely rare? Would you believe 
me? The block I'm of course talking about is the large fern, which looks like this. Now regular fern can be obtained easily within a tiger biome with some shears, but to find large fern, it's a lot more challenging. So the only way to get a large fern is within a tiger village. You then have to be lucky to find it in a chest as it only has an 18% chance to spawn there. So yeah, who would have thought this weird grass block would be so hard to find? If you've played Minecraft for a while, then you've more than likely defeated the Ender Dragon. After defeating the dragon, you're of course rewarded with the Dragon Egg, which is your reward, your trophy, your... Okay, it's kind of lame. Actually, it's extremely rare. In fact, it's the rarest item in Minecraft because only one exists within your world. That's right, even though you can respawn the dragon and defeat it again, you're only ever given one Dragon Egg, so you better look after it. So we all know that turtles love to chill by the beach and drop seagrass when they are killed. However, what is strange and also very rare is that turtles will drop a bowl upon death if they are killed by a lightning strike. Um, fair enough, I guess. The enchanted golden apple is a rare, uncraftable variant of the normal golden apple. Now, since you cannot craft the enchanted golden apple anymore, it's incredibly difficult to come across, only being able to be found in generated structures. It's worth Worth noting that the chance rate of the enchanted golden apple varies across each structure. For example, it only has a 1.4% chance to spawn in mine shafts, a 2.6% chance to spawn in a temple chest, and so on. So yeah, if you've ever found an enchanted golden apple, then look after it, because they're really rare. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, cocoa beans used to be one of the rarest items in the game. That's right, before jungle biomes were added into Minecraft, the only way to obtain cocoa beans was by finding them in dungeon chests. It's worth noting that dungeons were very rare in the alpha and beta days and since cocoa beans only had a 50% chance to generate in them, it made finding them quite tricky. The bell is a block in Minecraft that spawns in villages and produces a rather obnoxious noise when right clicked on. Now despite bells being quite common to find as blocks, they're very rare to find as items within chests. That's right, if you ever find a a ruined portal with a chest, then there's actually a 1.5% chance the chest will contain a bell. So yeah, bells as items are quite hard to find. The spider jockey has been in Minecraft since the alpha days in 2010. This meant for the longest time, the skeleton riding a spider was the rarest mob in the game, only having a 1% chance to spawn in your world. Nowadays, we of course have many more mobs that are even rarer, but the spider jockey will always be that iconic rare mob that it's an awesome surprise when you encounter one. Well, unless you die to it. Huge mushrooms are tree-like structures that are made of mushroom blocks. Now, a huge mushroom's height is normally between five and seven blocks, but there's a really small chance to find mushrooms at twice the height. That's right, if you're lucky enough, you might have a Minecraft world that contains a huge mushroom that's up to 13 blocks tall. Just look at the thing, man, it's insane. If you ever play Minecraft on Halloween, then keep a lookout for a rare occurrence with zombies and skeletons. This is because there is a 2.5% chance for zombies, skeletons, and zombie piglins to spawn wearing a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern on their head. And finally, the rarest thing in all of Minecraft is Herobrine. It's been said that Herobrine only has a 1 in 500 gazillion chance of appearing in your Minecraft world. So it goes without saying that if you see Herobrine, you're very, very, very very lucky.